Hi, this is Ben Simon from Media Brighton TV, and this is the After Effects Gunshot Wound Tutorial. Stay tuned. So, in my film Banana Pearl, if you haven't watched it, you should watch that first, I have a gunshot wound, and I've done it solely using After Effects. So, here it is. Here's how I did it. Uh, first, I'll show you the kinds of shots that we had to do. Um, and um, I'll come back to the actual gunshot in a minute. Russ, the main actor, getting shot in the leg and then him reacting and falling and then hitting the floor. OK, so there's three shots there. Um, so essentially, the first one of these, what we did is we had a, uh, a mattress um, and I knew that I was going to be cropping the shot so and cutting as well. So I thought, well, this is going to be covered by uh, the black line. He can then run towards, react, and then roll onto the mattress. So you can see if I just play it through. And he's nice and safe there. The second shot, sorry, the third shot in the sequence, we essentially just get him to linger with his hand on the floor. And then we get Toby to run past the exact same time. And so this is how this looks. So he's not really falling from very high. He's literally just sort of like hitting the ground from about a foot up. And I do a little camera move actually as well to sort of make it feel more dynamic. Because uh, if it was completely static, it sometimes feels a bit like staged. So as you can see, I sort of move the camera around a little bit. It makes it feel less staged. The three of those shots together, um, if you look when they're cut together. Oh, okay, and I'm cutting on the action, so um, boom, that's hit there. He then reacts to it there. And then he hits the ground, and I'm cutting to hit him hitting the ground on that shot. Okay. And it all works quite nicely. So the next thing is the actual wound. So, uh, you know, this was the first film that I ever made. I didn't want to get into having uh, real explosives or, you know, spurts of blood coming out, uh, practical effects. So I actually decided just to shoot the whole thing um, in its kind of raw format and then add in the effects afterwards. So I'll show you. This is the unaffected uh, shot of the running past shot. Okay, nothing spectacular when it's like that. If I show you it in After Effects. Okay, so here we go. Um, now we've got the shot. So essentially what I'm doing is uh, to add the gun wound. I first of all decided to get a gun shot uh, kind of looking uh, uh, sort of static image and motion track that on, uh, which ended up looking awful. Um, I did actually get a sort of like an image of something. But anyway, I quickly decided that that wasn't working. And then I used these assets from the Action Essentials uh, pack by Video Copilot. And so if I layer it up, I can show you what I've done. Um, this one is a sort of blood burst. And I'm motion tracking it, or at least keyframing it, on to follow to sort of spurt out where I wanted the gun wound to be. And essentially what we're doing here is uh, we're just f sort of animating it so it goes from um, almost completely opaque to actually being visible and following the, the, his leg. Okay, so then the next one, um, if I turn that one off, then we have another blood splatter. Uh, this is called a blood splat. Um, the other one was Blood Burst 05, this one's Blood Splat 01, okay, and essentially you can see it happen there, um, and what I've done is I'm sort of, I'm keyframing it to follow the leg, and it nicely, it does look quite good, I mean, now the other thing is if you take, I've, I've got motion blur on these, if you take the motion blur off, um, you can see it, it, it obviously doesn't look very realistic. Okay, so basically just to make it look more realistic, um, I just turned on the motion blur and then turned that on to the layers that need motion blurring, so uh, this particular one. Um, and as you can see, because of the speed 
of it moving, it's nicely blurred and that kind of makes it look more like it's stuck onto the leg. Now I also then add uh, another type of blood splatter. So what I've actually done is I keyframed one of them and then I've actually just, uh, I've, I've just pick whipped the other ones to that particular one. So if you could, if you see in here, uh, it's basically pick whip to blood splatter one and then this one's uh, pick whip so it basically just does the same movement as that um, and that's that blood splatter and then this particular one is uh, kind of like a blood burst sort of um, and again if I sh if I show you this without the, the motion blur and you can see it's actually just sort of a sp spray of blood um, which actually is sort of coming out and I'm I sort of I'm assuming that this would, you know, sort of come out and then follow the leg because of the, the speed of him running. Um, so you can actually see, I think that looks quite realistic. And then if you add the motion blur to that, I quite like the way you sort of see it for a second and then it and then it's blurred off. And so all of them together um, give you that effect, which I'll show you again now. So on the final one, um, I actually add the color grading, um, which kind of ties it all together. So if I show you uh, the effect without the color grading, and you know, to be honest, I think I could do a better job of color grading now. Uh, I did finish this film a long time ago. This is the effect without, okay, and then with all with all the color graded color grading added. It kind of makes it all look like it's part of the same image and I kind of knew that, that would be the case when I was doing it so if it didn't look massively realistic in After Effects I knew that it would look a bit more realistic afterwards so there you go that's how that's how I've done that so it's a good way of doing a gunshot wound without having to actually have uh, some practical effects <laughs> Okay, so that was the After Effects Gunshot Wound tutorial. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section below. Give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Share the video with anyone that you think will find it of value. So this is Ben Simon with the After Effects Gunshot Wound tutorial. Thanks for watching. I have a completely free ebook for you. It's five essentials to indie filmmaking, my special tips to make a more professional production. So just click on the link below this video, enter your details, and I'll send you that completely free. Thanks for watching.